What's going on, people? Got another cut today. Nothing, uh, nothing big and crazy today. Um, but a lot of people inquire about the tiger stuff, about the um, desert stuff. So um, I'm going to film it anyway. Uh, today's was a tiger to a pastel. And once again, right on cue, 55 days. Got him pipping. So, we're going to cut him. Um, yeah, I think I told you guys before that the, the uh, tiger is a desert enchi. And now that I'm saying this, I know I told you before the desert gene, or the desert. Um, the females are infertile and only the males are fertile but once again super clean snakes I think I already sold all the uh, deserts out of my first clutch don't know why people just like them because they're a uh, clean looking snake anyway here we go would have done this cutting earlier but was busy locked in the basement because we're supposed to have a hurricane out here today and guess what not a cloud in the sky all right right off the bat we got probably let me think yeah probably probably the best thing I could get out of here I think that is a that is a pastel at the least desert but it looks like a pastel tiger let's pop his head out there I'll leave it in there. Anyway, yeah, very nice looking snake. But, uh, yeah, I know they're not moving. They're, uh, you see blood, they're not moving. All part of the process, people. Anyway, that's pretty cool. That is a, what I'm thinking is a t pastel tiger. All right. Well, we started off good. Now, see if we go downhill or stay lucky here I grab the wrong scissors It actually looks like the same thing. So off to a good start. Let's just hope they're uh, hope they're males. Then again, I sold my females already out of the other clutch because I sell them pretty cheap for pet quality. Anyway. All right, so that right there looks like a normal. Yeah, winding down. I think I only have like, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three more clutches to cut, so... Like I said, in the uh, after they're on, maybe I'll make a couple, uh, make a couple hold back videos and stuff like that. All right, so there. Really can't tell to that, but it's it's a desert. It's got desert in it. I don't know whether it's a tiger. Can't see the head. At this point, looks like just a desert.
Yeah, day 55. Right on cue. You see all these little slices? They're from what you call an egg tooth on the front of the snake. I think I only had one clutch that didn't go on day 55 this year. And actually, there was something wrong with that clutch. That was that uh, clown clutch. Unfortunately, that clutch didn't do too good. All right, so right there, man, it's got a pattern like a leopard, but that, let me think, did I throw a leopard to this too? I actually may have threw a leopard in there too, but I don't think so. But anyway, that's a, at this point, it's a pastel. I don't think it's a, just a funky pattern. I'll have to go check, but I don't think I threw anything else in with that except the uh, the tiger. So that would make that a pastel. All And that's going to be the same thing. Another pasta. All right, last egg. So yeah, I think on these first two, I think we already got, I think we hit what we, uh, you know, the best thing you could go for, so. Once again, we'll check when we get out. When they, uh, or when they come out of the egg, I mean. Uh-oh. I don't know what that pattern is. I'm, man. You know what? She might have retained sperm from the year before of a leopard clutch. I mean, a leopard male. Because that is definitely a funky pattern there. All right. Now you got me thinking. All right. <laughs> We're going to wait for them to come out of the egg. Looks like it might be a double sired clutch here. Because I do not know. Yeah, that one's definitely something going on there. Too busy to be a pastel or whatever. All right. Well, we'll see when it comes out. Like I said, only got about two or three more clutches to go. So, uh, stay tuned. Later.